Amen. Lord, we tell Almighty God. Okay, again, these are the two anointed ones. So now we have to figure out who are the two olive trees. All right? Amen. Any comments so far? Give me Romans 11, 24. Romans 11, 24. Romans 11, 24. For if thou were cut out of the olive tree, which is wild by nature... And were grafted contrary to nature into a good olive tree. Uh -huh. How much more shall these which be the natural branches be grafted into their own olive tree? Who are we talking about? We're talking about the Gentiles. Uh-huh. And who else? Israel. And Israel. That's what I'm looking at right now. Our two witnesses. Our two witnesses. Is it Moses, Elijah, Enoch, the church, the Gentiles, or the Jews? So we see it right here. Our two, we know in Old Testament, who was the witness for God? Who was the witness for God in Old Testament? The house of Israel. That was God's witnesses. They were actually supposed to come out of Egypt and go up to Mount Sinai and become a nation. Not one person, but one body. Yeah. They were supposed to become a nation of what? Priests. Priests. But they were considered one nation. And that's how I think how we, a lot of times, we'll get lost with the two. Because we'll look at two individuals and not two groups. So now we have the Old Testament witnesses of God who was what? Israel. And we have our New Testament witnesses who was what? The church. The church of Christ. Now what's in the church of Christ? Inside the church of Christ, because you know the Lord came and he picked up what? Twelve disciples. Yeah. Them twelve disciples represented what? Old Testament. Twelve tribes of Israel. The twelve tribes of Israel. But he said when he came to them, they received him not. So then he went and picked up what? Well, actually the twelve, the twelve disciples, they was of Israel, but they also became a part of the what? The body of Christ. Because they start preaching what? About the church. Amen. So inside the church, you have what? The children of Israel. And, which we just read over was your wild olive branch, who we just discovered was what? The Gentiles. the Gentiles. So now we have inside the church, we have what? The house of Israel and the Gentiles. Amen. See the Abraham. Huh? Amen. The seed of Abraham, the Amen. Israelites, and the Gentiles, two witnesses inside the body of Christ. Amen. So those two witnesses actually could be just the church by itself. And like I said, we're going to look into this deeper, look into this some more, but. But right now, what the Lord is showing me, those two witnesses can make up the church itself. Not the church and the Gentiles. Or the church and Israel. It could be. It could be the church and Israel. But I'm seeing Israel in the church. 
Because everybody, even Paul said he was a what? Israelite on the body of, he was a Benjamite or something he said. So that made him a what? An Israelite. But he said he preached what now? Christ. So even Paul, all your disciples, Mary, everybody that was followed after Christ, they came a part of what? The church. They all became a part of the church. It's a gift from God. Amen. 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 Any questions so far? What we stop there, Pastor? <clears throat> 1124. Okay. Romans 11.24. Okay. Continue. Yeah. 11.25. For I would not, brethren, that ye should be ignorant of this mystery, uh -huh. lest ye should be wise in your own conceits, uh -huh. that blindness in part is happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles become in. We're having the same thing again. Yeah. He said, For I would not, brethren, that ye should be Ignorant of this mystery. Amen. This mystery that God has unfolded to us that Daniel wanted to know about could actually be unfolded in the church. Amen. We're not, if we, and some people might say, well, no, nah, John, still don't go with you. I don't agree with that. That's fine. Because it don't affect your salvation. Whether Moses show up, Enoch show up. I'm just here to convince you that it's you. It's you that represents Christ now. It's you that he want to put this power in your hand. It's you that he want to represent Christ. The Lord said, I'm going to pour out my spirit on what? Oh. On all flesh. On your sons and daughters. So when he pour out the power of God on you, you the one that's going to prophesy in Jesus' name. You the one that's going to uh, cause plagues to happen, well, in your part of the earth. In the days of your what? Prophecy. In your walk with God, you're going to have the power of Christ. That's why he told Thomas, yeah, but greater for those that have not seen. And what? And believe. And believe. That's why I said we don't want to be raptured. We don't want to be post-trip raptured. Not yet. Because we get ready to go into what? A power season. Amen. We get ready to go into a power season. Have you folks? So they won't be going like, okay, go ahead. That means more gifts for me. <laughs> <laughs> more gifts for me. <laughs> go ahead on, y'all. Go ahead on. Fly all the way, what y'all want to do. More gifts for me. I might end up with 15, Pastor. <laughs> y'all go ahead and fly away. Y'all want to go post-tribulation? Why? Because people are in fear. They know what this thing's supposed to look like dealing with this. We in this season. We in the capitalism, the inflations. They just went up on our taxes, 45, 60%. I ain't checked it because I heard somebody say it. 45, 60% inflation on your taxes? These folks can't find no other way to make money but rob the people. So now you're looking at what? Inflation and death. Inflation and death. Right here well at the end of the grace. But power is going to be given unto who? My two witnesses. So this is the season where the Lord said the wealth of the wicked is stored up for who? The just. For the just. Not the rich going to be poor, the poor going to be rich. No, he ain't talking about it. He said the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the just. That's why you keep hearing me say you got to get in a what? Right way. You got to get in a right way with God to get this thing. Amen. Yeah, the Lord got to see your what? I say your worship will be what? Your circumcision of your heart. Amen. Pastor, I might want to plug that cord in that thing. <clears throat> the circumcision of your heart. 
That's going to be your what? Your mark of God is the other one, the biggest one. Yeah, your worship, your mark is what? Your worship. Your worship. That's your mark of God. And if you don't have the mark of God, then you're going to be worshiping who? The beast. The beast. And I fear for a lot of people because we're going through what? Inflation and death. So a lot of people are going to be what? Afraid to die. Amen. Being and afraid to die, the Lord said, unless you accept the mark of the beast, you're not going to be able to what? Buy or sell. You ain't going to eat no food. You ain't going to eat no food. And I can preach this all day long. I can preach this all year long. And I guarantee you, had folks still won't go grow God. I'm just telling you not to eat. I'm telling you, you're not going to eat. And they still ain't heard nothing. What did all we did last week? He said, this is a thick neck, hard-headed people. They're not going to listen. Socialism ain't coming to your door every time. <laughs> That's what that is, ain't it, Pastor? Yeah. Socialism ain't coming to your door. Check ain't coming to your door every time. That's socialism. That's another what? Spirit. It's nothing but another spirit. Of government what? Control. Control and assistance. That's all right? Amen. <clears throat> Pastor, look at Haggai 2.19 real quick, and we're going to end here. I still got a lot to cover. We're going to have to come back and pick up some more of this later. Give me the Haggai 2.19. We might get one or two more in here. But just to be clear so far, we know these two olive trees are the two witnesses of God. Two. I'm not holding. I'm just saying I'm not holding to Moses and Elijah showing up. Yeah. But what I am holding to, I'm going to see the Spirit of God being poured out on people. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Almighty God. Go ahead, Pastor. Hey, God, 2 and 19. Uh-huh. Is the seed yet in the barn? Uh-huh. Yea, as yet the vine uh -huh. and the fig tree uh -huh. and the pomegranate uh -huh. and the olive tree have not brought forth. From this day will I bless you. Uh-huh. Who he talk about? He still talk about one of these olive trees who have not yet brought forth their what? Their fruit. Their fruit. Who he talking about? You talk about Israel. You talk about Israel still to this day have not brought forth their fruit. We just said that what? They are blinded in part Amen. until the time of the Gentiles be what? Fulfilled. Fulfilled. Now, that's not all Israel. That's why he said it was blinded in what? Part. In part. Because a lot of Israelites, right? Have accepted Christ. Have accepted what, Pastor? Have accepted Christ. Have accepted Christ. Amen. And a lot of them have not. A lot of them say he's a prophet and not giving him the credit due to him. Amen. So a lot of people to this day have not believed that Christ have came yet. They still waiting on his first coming, which is going to be our what? Second coming. Pastor, can we get one more? <clears throat> get as many as you need. Let me get Jeremiah eleven sixteen real quick. Jeremiah. 11, 16. 11, 16. 11, 16. Jeremiah 11, 16. Jeremiah, Jeremiah 11, 16. Uh-huh. The Lord called thy name. Uh-huh. A green olive tree. Who he talking to? Israel. He's saying it again. He got it all throughout the scripture. He keeps saying Israel, even back then, was a what? Green olive tree. Was a green olive tree. He wasn't talking about one person. He was talking about what? The, the whole camp. Give me Deuteronomy 24 and 20, Pastor. I'll show you something else real quick. Why I'm still saying is the church... 
is Israel that have accepted Christ and the Gentiles that have accepted Christ. Where they at? In the church. The body of Christ. Deuteronomy 24 and 20. Amen, amen. Deuteronomy 24 and 20. Who are the two witnesses of Revelation? Deuteronomy 24 and 20. And it reads, When thou beatest thine olive tree, uh -huh. thou shalt not go over the bows again. What he said? When you beat beatest what? The, uh, thine olive tree. Uh huh. Thou shalt not go over the bowels again. Uh huh. It shall be for the stranger. It'll be for who? The stranger. Who the strangers? Who's it without? The Gentiles. Even back from Deuteronomy. The Lord was preparing what? What he told Satan? What, 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 what he uh, convinced Eve to eat from that tree? What he told Satan? You're going to bruise his head, but you're going to bust your head, and you're going to bruise his heel. Yeah. He was preparing then. Amen. That's why he was preparing. He didn't tell them though. He was preparing for the Gentile the day that Satan convinced Eve to eat from the tree. Amen. Let me have that again, Pastor. Deuteronomy 2420. When thou beatest thine olive tree, uh -huh. thou shalt not go over the Bows again, uh -huh. it shall be for the stranger, for the fatherless, and for the widow. Uh -huh. When thou gatherest the grapes of thine vineyard, uh -huh. thou shalt not glean it afterward. Uh -huh. It shall be for the stranger, for the fatherless, and for the widow. Uh -huh. And thou shalt remember that thou wast a bondman uh -huh. in the land of Egypt. Right. Therefore, I command thee to do this thing. Even though they understand it. They just followed orders. <laughs> they just followed orders, not knowing that the Lord is preparing what? For the strangers. Amen. The Lord said, I'm the what? I'm the Alpha and the Omega. Yeah. I know the beginning and the ending, says the Lord. Y'all with me on today? Amen. Can anybody tell me who are these two witnesses? <laughs> Nobody still don't want to answer. Those things, those things got to get in you. Can anybody tell me who these two witnesses are? Let's keep going then. Let's get one more. Let me get 2 Chronicles 4.20. We'll get a little bit more here then. Second Chronicles four twenty. It's not by might. It's not by power. Second Chronicles four twenty. Uh huh. Moreover, the candlesticks with their lamps. Uh huh. That they should burn after the manner before the oracle of pure gold. Uh -huh. And the flowers and the lamps and the tongues made he of gold uh -huh. and that perfect gold. Uh -huh. And the snuffers and the basins and the spoons and the censers of pure gold. Uh -huh. And the entry of the house, the inner doors thereof, uh -huh. for the most holy place. And the doors of the house of the temple were of gold. Uh huh. Give me an assay of 13, 12. We might get one or two more here. <laughs> assay of 13 and 12. Isaiah 13 and 12. Uh huh. I will make a man more precious than fine gold. Uh huh. Even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. Uh huh. The Lord said he's gonna do what? He gonna make a man more precious. So what I'm saying to you today, the Lord said I take the weak to do what? Confound. 
to confound the wise. So what I'm seeing, the Lord can use whoever he wants to. He don't need to bring back up Elisha, Moses, Enoch, Abraham. He don't need to bring that back, not with his power. I think we got one more pastor. Um, Hebrews 12, 1. Hebrews 12, 1. Hebrews 12, 1. Uh -huh. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about uh -huh. with so great a cloud of witnesses. How many? Witnesses. Uh -huh. Let us lay aside every weight uh -huh. and the sin which does so easily beset us. Uh -huh. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Okay, give me Isaiah 4 to 3 and 10. I got a couple more. I might as well read these so I don't have to come back and put another poet on. Isaiah 43 10. And then we're going to go to Acts 10 41. Isaiah 43 10. Uh huh. Ye are my witnesses, said the Lord, uh -huh. and my servant whom I have chosen, uh -huh. that ye may know and believe me and understand that I am He. Uh huh. Before me there was no God formed, neither shall there be after me. Uh -huh. I, even I, am the Lord, and beside me there is no Savior. And he was saying, he was talking, he was saying what? Ye are my what? Witnesses. Who he was talking to? <laughs> the house of Israel. Yeah. All million people. He said, ye are my witnesses. That was what? One olive tree. Later on, after Christ, there became what? Two olive trees, which made up what? The Gentiles. Amen? Amen. Give me Acts 10, 41. I think we might end right here. Acts 10, 41. Acts 10, 41. Not to all the people, but unto witnesses chosen before of God, uh -huh. even to us, uh -huh. who did eat and drink with him after he rose from the dead. Uh -huh. and, he, <clears throat> and he commanded us to preach unto the people and to testify uh -huh. that it is he which was ordained of God uh -huh. to be the judge of the quick and dead. Uh -huh. Keep going. To him give all the prophets witness uh -huh. that through his name, whosoever believeth in him shall receive remission of sins. Uh -huh. Now, hold on right there, Pastor. Now, the reason I put this in here, if it's not all of us, which I'm believing is all of us, if it's not, it's got to be the prophets or the chosen people of God out of Israel that's an Israelite that confess Christ and prophets out of the Gentiles that may be at Fessing Christ. That's doing what? He said what? They're doing what? A mighty work for God. They say they what? They were what? So out for Christ. So if it's not all of the people, it's the prophets or certain groups or certain people inside of Israel, but they're still inside what? The church. They're still inside the church. Because sometimes you can have people that, and I'm still believing that it's all of us because the angel was saying, do not hurt the grass nor the green thing. Until we have sealed all the servants of God in what? In their forehead. It's until we have sealed all of them in their forehead. So I'm believing on today that the two witnesses, and I'm proclaiming one of them, 
because I'm am of the church. Amen. I'm believing that the two witnesses is made up of two groups, two olive trees inside the church. Amen. Which we call what? The body of Christ makes up the two witnesses. Because that's how you're going to get your persecution when you do what? Confess what? Christ. Christ. Any questions? Amen. If there's no questions, then we're going to go ahead and end right here. Amen. 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 Glory be to the Almighty God. Praise Hallelujah. Praise His holy name. Be ye thankful. Amen. Amen. Glory to the Almighty God. Amen. Now you can stop that for me. Hallelujah. Amen.